My name's Lorraine Steele, and um, I am one of the directors here at Show Art, Spirit and Performance. Originally, the name is Show Art, Spirit and Performance, and over the years, we've grown to where we are now. So today, we operate 30,000 square feet of arts infrastructure, and it's pretty organically developed. My name is Susan McLeod, and I originally grew up in LaSalle and River Canard and uh, met my husband in 2007. And Lorraine and I are celebrating our 10th anniversary this year as female business partners. My name is Phil McLeod. I was born and raised in Windsor and I uh, started painting when I was seven years old. So I've been doing it for a long time and I'm a retired uh, commercial artist. The first thing that came to mind, my generation, I mean, we think about hockey cards and, and Gordie Howe has a, probably a, a special meaning to, to my generation, maybe more so than some of the younger uh, generations. The three qualities that exemplify Gordie Howe are, are root strength, uh, speed, and, and grace. And they're also the same things that you look for in a bridge. In my past career, I, I've done some, some work with hockey cards and things like that, so I kind of know the way they use the color and, and put things together like that. And that was the first thing that came to mind about this project was to, to kind of reflect that energy because there's name recognition with Cordy Howe. That's why they named the bridge after him, I'm sure. My name is Asaf Maurer and I am uh, 41 years old. I was born in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. I just wanted to have something that was very uh, striking in terms of the contrast between the colors and the, and the darkness, so that, that was the basis of my, my inspiration. My process involves a lot of pacing, in fact. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll pace up and down for uh, sometimes uh, an entire two, three days or more settling on kind of an idea that I like and uh, the execution itself is pretty quick. I did this in mostly in uh, just two sittings. My name is Nora Harvey. I'm a local contemporary artist um, living in Walkerville and working from my home studio in Walkerville. I did some research first and I was just fascinated with, uh, with the tower and these suspender cables and the, the whimsical view of the cables and I really enjoyed working on this particular painting because connecting the two cities, Detroit and Windsor, having the bridge right across and with these really whimsical lines to connect the two cities together. Opening up a major connection between our two cities, I'm really excited about it. I'm excited about the business it's going to bring. And as somebody who does art shows now in my city, I look forward to how the bridge is going to just bring us closer. And it'll open up business and commerce and friendships. I mean, I think it's, I think it's a beautiful thing. I'm really excited. We really think that a good creative community is what we're all striving for in the long run anyways. And as uh, Asaph had mentioned earlier, uh, the opening up of, of more thoroughfares back and forth to the states, it's all good, but we need to have, uh, we need to keep our creative forces together here too, instead of having them shipped off to other places. So there's gotta be opportunity here. So that's what it's about, is sharing the opportunity with other artists in our community. To me is fascinating how it's connecting the two cities, Detroit and Windsor, by pedestrians and cyclists, you know, connecting the cross-border trail and having people able to enjoy cultural and recreational events in both cities. Structurally, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, in my travels, I've always been fascinated by bridges and again, they do connect. That river was just a river for the longest time. And now this is a way through the pedestrian aspect, through the cycling aspect to, to bring it to more of the population. Arts is a connector. Being creative is a connector. And when I look at the Gordie Howe Bridge, I just go, it is humanity's high art form. It is the biggest metaphysical connector. 
it connects countries. It's an amazing structure, and when I start to think about the idea of it, it really is an amazing piece of art.